Good morning. Good morning, we're gonna start. Make sure your microphones are off. On the bottom of your screen, it's a red, uh, should look like a red little microphone. We're going to get started, dive right in. I hope you guys are well. Um, it's a bit colder today, so this is definitely gonna heat you up. So modify where you need to, those shoulders will be um, demanded to do some work and wrists as well. So take a break there if you need it. And um, let's get started. So we'll start right into our cat cow. Okay, so we look like a tabletop. You open your hands. Fingers are nice and spread out. You feel the ground through your fingers and your knees should be directly under your hips. It's a very basic place to stay, okay? Now, <clears throat> when we breathe in a yoga practice, we breathe in through our nose and out through our nose. If you're stuffed up, obviously, you use your mouth and you let the breath come in smoothly. And this is an inhale, looking forward, smooth inhale, in through the nose and a smooth exhale. And as we exhale, the belly draws up and towards the spine and we arch like a cat in Halloween. And then we breathe in and we sink our belly down, the hips move back, we look forward, stretch your chin forwards. And then we breathe out, we allow the tailbone to roll under. We gaze towards our belly. And at the final moment of the exhale, we push into the hands and around the shoulders. So let the spine move with the breath. Breathe in. This is our cow. Breathe out. Begin with the tailbone, middle back, upper back, neck, gaze. Now feel the timing of the movement in sync with your breathing. So the tops of your feet are down, your knees are down and your hands are on the floor. Feel those areas. We'll give a light push into the tops of your feet, a light push into your knees and your hands. Activate your hands, especially as you breathe out. Push the tops of the feet, the knees, the hands. Feel the difference. It's a different quality. Let's do three more of those. We'll draw the breath in with a little bit more power. So breathe in, pulling the breath into the lungs, hold at the top of your in-breath, looking forwards. And then exhale, push the breath away through the nose, draw it out, even smooth. And two more, the same way, in your own timing. Hold the exhale in that cat pose with your hands, push them until your heels move, uh, your hips move into your heels and you're in this child's position. But with your knees closer together, the head doesn't quite make it to the floor. Squeeze your elbows straight, soften at your wrists. Gaze in like you're looking at your belly with your chin glued to your chest. Good. Now take the breath into the back of the shoulders on your back body. Breathe in. Visualize the back side of your heart. Breathe there. Okay, we're going to start to look forward. And when you're ready with an in-breath, come back into that tabletop. Tuck your toes under one at a time. And then we're sitting back. This is our um, downward facing dog preparation. So you sit back into the heels. You'll probably want to walk your hands up about one hand's distance. Look towards your belly. On your next in breath, let the knees rise up. And we'll give the legs a stretch here. So if you need to walk them out, if that's there, 
pedal the legs out. Now, if you've had a practice already, you've been doing some um, yoga asana this morning, you can hold the down dog here, legs strong. Otherwise, if you're feeling that movement feels nice, rock the hips, move your neck. Good, and find your breath. <clears throat> okay, and for a couple breaths, let's firm the leg muscles so they're straight. If that means the heels are lifted, then their heels are lifted. That will come with a little bit more practice. The heels will start to drop. Now push into your hands, bring your chest between your arms towards your feet. Okay, we're gonna look forwards. We're gonna roll forward in that tabletop, dropping our knees down. So that's an in-breath, look forwards. Okay, here's a nice gentle version. Exhale, sit back in the heels. Exhale, keep exhaling and let the knees rise away and come into that downward dog shape. As we breathe in, we look forward, drop our knees and we come forwards. As we breathe out, we push into the hands, sit back and let the knees rise away. So one breath at a time. Stronger variation, look forward, lift the heels, breathe in, plank. As we breathe out, lift the hips, look back, stretch back, down dog. Okay, so let's find a rhythm with our breath, breathe in, find what your body wants to do here. You may be up for a stronger start to your week. If it's too early, drop your knees and feel the spine roll through that nice modified variation. These are two places where you get two different experiences completely. It's not that you're doing less, it's that you're working your body in a different way. Let's do three more. Keep the elbows straight in both variations. Elbows straight. On your last one, you're gonna hold the end breath in a tabletop or plank, hold it, and then push the breath out, hold down dog. Good, and then start to make your way into seated. And I always use a block, a cushion, blanket, fold it up. Okay, so <clears throat> we're taking a break from that because we're going to revisit that and go a little bit stronger. So make your way into a cross-legged position, sitting up tall. Okay. And allow yourself to come to a center point so you're relaxed in your spot, your breath is synced up with your body, so pause. And we'll just give ourselves one stretch. We'll bring our hands behind our back to interlace. That looks like this. Take an interlace, squeeze your shoulders back. Good, and allow this part of your body to open up. So breathe in here. Good, feel your hips sinking down, heavy in the hips. Good, let's release. Okay, so we're going to do a um, pranayama breath work um, with our arms to really build the heat. So we've done this, we did this last week, if some of you might recognize this. Uh, we're going to bring our arms out, okay, out wide. So elbows are active, right? Palms turn up, okay, sink back ever so slightly so you're in your hips. Okay, this one looks like this. This is a a 30 second Kriya. Actually, let's do a minute. We can do it. Okay, palms up. It looks like this. You breathe out and the hands come up. Okay. And if you've got any issues in the shoulders, you're coming with a softer movement and the arms are forward. Okay. So anybody can, can start to come forward if you've got any issues in the shoulders. So squeeze at the elbows when you're ready. 
Exhale. Like that, okay? Keep it up, and I'm timing this. If you want it powerful, more powerful, breathe through your nose. So feel your belly drawing in. This is an active heat builder. Good, now close your eyes for the last 30 seconds. Imagine you're in that space behind your heart. That's where your arms meet and let that part open up. Feel the heat there. Good, strong breath, last 10 seconds. Breathe in, open up your arms, like big wings, look up. Hold that space, squeeze at the elbows, hold it. Feel all the sensations. Bring your hands to your knees, rest your hands. And just live in this, this sensation of the body changed. Good, open up your eyes. Amazing, well done. Okay, if you want a real challenge, you, um, those are called Kriyas. You do those for four minutes back to back with other ones. Um, <clears throat> and I can do that later on, but not on a Monday, maybe not on a Monday. So here we are, we're in tabletop, toes are tucked under. So downward facing dog to approach it, looks like a tabletop. Hands come ever so slightly forward to bring an angle from your wrist to your shoulder, and then the hands push you back into your heels. Okay, so look towards your belly. Now you should feel your arms, they feel a little bit more sensational, and look. When you're ready, breathe in, lift the knees away. And then hold the down dog, squeeze at your elbows, squeeze your legs. It doesn't matter if your heels are lifted, your legs are straight. Good. And then look forward. We're gonna come forward, variation with the knees down or a plank. Okay, this is the core. So belly's in, hips are down. Exhale back. Breathe in, rapid movement, breathe in. So it's an energetic breath in, energetic breath out. Okay, so this is for a minute. Now, if some of you don't wanna do this, you just do what we did before, slower. So you're on mute. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. So work with the elbows straight. This is us halfway there. Last three. Good, come into that plank. Knees down or up, hold it, breathe in. Hold it. Drop your knees. Sit back, settle it. Drop your toenail side of your foot down. Relax at your elbows, turn your palms up and rest your head on the mat. Good child's pose. Breathing in. Breathing out. Soaking in that heat. Good. Lots of body changes happening internally. Really good, energetic, cell rejuvenating work. Good. And when you're ready, breathe in, walk your hands in. How fast does that time go? Can you believe it? As a teacher, you know, it's really hard to teach these 15 minute seg segments, but with the kids, 
that's kind of all I have until they're wild banshees in the other room. So it's lovely to spend this time with you all. I wish I had more, um, but depending on what happens in the world today, maybe we'll get some more. This will go on for longer, so I might do some more evening nidra relaxation stuff. So I will keep you posted, but thank you for coming to these. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week. I'll be here tomorrow, same time, same log login stuff. So lovely to see my friends. I miss you guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Jenny, Juliet. Have a fantastic um Bye -bye. rest of your you. day. Bye. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Grandma's here. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Claire.